Well, uh, firstly, may I just welcome you to King Sopuza, the second memorial park. So Thank this you. is a monument that is dedicated to a Swatini's icon, uh, King Sopuza II, who led the Swazi nation to independence, as well as also he brought about unity within the kingdom. Uh, as you know that we are surrounded by former Marxist Mozambique on the eastern side and former racist South Africa on the western side. And these two countries were in turmoil. And being a small country, it would have been easily for the country to be, or to, to be, uh, to dissipate or to uh, kind of uh, not being stable. But through his wisdom and leadership, we, we were a peaceful country even today. So he is the father of the current king, King Mswati, the, His Majesty King Mswati III. And also he is Swaziland's longest reigning king. He ruled the country for 61 years, from 1921 up until 1982. One of his uh, uh, achievement as, uh, uh, achievements was uh, as well as, as the, is the independence, which we gained from Britain on the 6th of September 1968 without any bloodshed. So that's why we, he is revered so much uh, in the country. So in summary, at simple, I would say that he is the father of the Swazi nation. Well, I would say he is a nation builder. Nation. Because, yes, because uh, uh, we have had previous, other previous kings who have played different roles uh, at different times. So. Uh, I wouldn't say uh, he, 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 was, he is the father of the Swazi nation mm. uh, uh, in the context that he is the one that brought about freedom That's or it. independence as well as also unity. In fact, if you look at his, uh, uh, on top of his statue, we have his famous quote, which he said that, Angina uh, I have no enemy, which was one of his uh, philosophies or motto that he, he believed that he had no enemy because whosoever considered himself as his enemy, he will spare no effort in trying to have conference with him so that they can settle their differences peacefully without having to shed any blood. And above all, he also mentioned that in order for a piano to give out good music, you must play both keys black and white, which meant that as blacks and whites, we should live together in harmony. So thus, in the country, we are a country of, what, um, of, 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 of no race, but in, of, of, of black and white. So we have black and white Swazis all living together, together in harmony. Yes. Amazing. We heard that um, the king, the former king, used to have cars in here. I don't know. Can we find a cars in this museum? Yes, we have. In fact, uh, we have uh, three of his cars, wow. in fact, fleet of cars. So we can try and uh, we can visit them. We could see them. And then uh, uh, I think after that we'll be done. Thank you so much. Yes. Um, in fact, the cars are not all in there. OK. Yes, but uh, we do have others that are still in the well, I National saw Museum. I saw some in the museum. Yes, in the National Museum. But we are still waiting to in fact because there's no space so uh, uh, but, uh, there has been a proposal of extending the, the museum to bring them in okay yes so currently that's why we have due to space we only have the three okay yes but uh, is it like so oh, the, the, i want to know like the cars over there mm -hmm. is it possible for us to see uh it's not okay Yes, it's okay. not. Okay. The only ones that are for public displays okay. are these this ones. One. Okay. Yes. Okay, yeah, so here in the museum, other than the pictographic exhibition that we have, mm. we also have three of King Sopuza's uh, fleet of cars. Wow. So we have uh, here, the first one, we have the Buick, which is uh, uh, a 1937 model. It's a V8 straight 8 engine. And then we also have the second one, which is a... Uh, a Buick as well. It's a 1957 model. Then the third one, uh, which is almost seven meters, is a Cadillac Fleetwood of 1968. Yes. I mean, can we see the inside? Yes, you may see the inside. This, I just wanted to know, like, was the color like this, or you guys just 
because uh, it's been long in fact, age. Uh, it's been a norm that uh, in the olden days the black color was reserved for people of status or okay. of or people of of or who are in authority that's so in this country black, yes so mostly uh, these cars are black okay yes because of that uh, yes so they're black and dark blue okay. yes so this one is actually not blue but i mean not black but dark blue black. yes okay, dark yes blue. Yes. Wow. So, yes, the inside is uh, kept at its original state, though uh, the outside has been repainted, okay. you know, paint re uh, fades away. But these ones, we just, uh, they are just kept at their or original state. Wow. Yes. Okay. And then, uh, yes, as I said, the second one is a 1957 model. Mm. Uh, you look at the steering wheel this side is on the right this one is on the left yes uh, so this one also it's at its original state inside but uh, uh, we we still uh, working on improving them to sort of restore them to their original the state, state okay. yes yes Then we have uh, the the Cadillac Fleetwood, 1968. 1968. Yes. That was when the country had its independence. Yes. So then I think this is the first car that he used. Uh, uh, I wouldn't be sure because he had other various cars, so we will not we will not be. Uh, uh, I cannot be uh, sure of that, no, that okay. which car he used, used okay. yes, okay. on that but day. Uh, but I, I, yes. I suppose that all the cars should be in the museum, or is just only three that? Uh, the, currently we only have three. Okay. We are still in the process. Okay. Because as you can see, the museum, uh, is still, uh, we only have pictographic exhibition because we are still in the process of acquiring King Sobuza's artifacts. Oh, okay. Yes, he, in fact, uh, being a royal monument, yeah. we, uh, we, 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 in fact, uh, we wait for the royalty okay. to give us some of the artifacts. Yeah, so. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's so beautiful. Yeah. Mm. Oh. In fact, uh, we wait to be, for them to be donated some of the artifacts. Okay. Yes, then they are brought in when the the, the time is right. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Otherwise, yes, this is all I can say. Um, on behalf of um, all the 326,000 watching us right now, we want to say thank you so much for taking us around and also thank you so much for educating us. Is there anything that um, you want to say or you want to show us about the man that I never asked? <laughs> uh, there isn't much except that to thank you for coming with such an is initiative yeah. to show Africa because sometimes they say uh, the Bible, I would like to quote the Bible, says you must start in Jerusalem which means before we explore other continents let's start at home, Thank let's you. start knowing each other, let's start uh, because there's a lot that we share in common uh, as Africans but uh, because of the borders that divide us do not allow us to access or even to visit one another in a frequently basis. So I will kindly maybe personally invite everybody that uh, if you happen to visit the kingdom, uh, don't go without visiting the King Sopuza Memorial Park. Amazing. And um, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I personally have a question that I wanted to ask him based on what he just said. Do you think that an African is a foreigner in any African country. Uh, no, I mean, I, I wanted that answer, I wanted to come on. <laughs> the first one. Uh -huh. uh, an African is, this, uh, is not a foreigner in the African continent. Why? Uh, he's not a foreigner because, uh, to my understanding, is that uh, the boundaries that we have today were not made by us. Though it is such a political question, but it's a fact that 
because we used mountains and rivers to demarcate boundaries, not borders, which then allowed people to move freely. So then, as a result of that, I cannot say you are a foreigner in your own land or in your own uh, continent. It's just that uh, maybe it's what, uh, in, in fact, in other ideologies they would believe that. But with us, in fact, uh, uh, King Sopuza had taught us that uh, every human being is worth being treated like you, uh, every other human being. So we cannot then, uh, with us, we don't have what we, we don't look at color of the skin to say you are a foreigner or you're not. Because once you are in the country, especially in Swaziland, we have a motto that says, once you are in Swaziland, you are a Swazi. You know, we don't, we don't care about your background. Just like where the English saying that when you're in Rome, you do what the Romans mm -hmm. do. So when you are here, you are part of us. That's why even in traditional ceremonies, we don't encourage you to watch, but we encourage you to participate because you are one of us. Mm -hmm.